Hey everybody, my name is Joey Simon. Um, I'm not a mechanic in any way, but I'm trying to change my catalytic converters on my 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser. Um, so I thought I'd, I watched a couple YouTube videos, um, but there weren't any great kind of step-by-steps that I could find on how to do this. Uh, so I'm gonna take a minute and try to do this. First off, we gotta remove uh, each tire, one at a time, obviously. Um, we'll just start over here on the passenger side. And then once we get the passenger side all completely installed and done, we'll take the tire off once we get it. The catalytic converter, once we get that put back on, uh, we'll put the tire back on and then we'll repeat the process on the driver's side. But here we go. All right, everybody, so we got the tire off here. Show you what we're working with down here. So our exhaust manifold and the catalytic converter are right up here. So this is our exhaust manifold that comes down. Catalytic converter sitting right here. So the piece that I got online uh, is this piece right here. So it's this exhaust manifold piece coming down to right here. I don't know if you can, it's hard to see up in there, but it comes down. And it, it bolts right down here okay and then up here as well so you can see there's three bolts on the top and then i think there's three on the bottom as well it's kind of hard to see but uh, these are 12 millimeter sockets right here so i have a, a half inch uh, impact wrench that i'm going to be using uh, and we're going to see if we can get these bolts off here so uh, let's get after it all right, so guys, uh, you can see that one on the top came off nicely. The nut uh, down on this bottom one came off nicely as well. And then uh, it's hard to see that second one in there came off nicely. Um, there's one more on that side. There's two on the top here. This one's kind of heat welded on. So I'm gonna try a, a bolt extractor um, socket on there. See if we can get that bad boy off. And then that one's kind of tucked up in there. so. Um, I got to get a, a swivel swivel socket up on that um, same as that bottom one but kind of an update here uh, it's, they're coming off pretty nicely though so all right all right everybody so as you can see right here this bolt here and then there's or that not there that one over on the other side that's 14 millimeters so we're gonna get those off um, up top uh, I'll come and show you up there what we've got going on i've got my uh, so the ground i'm working on is horribly on level so i've i've got a uh, floor jack over here in the middle you can see i've got ramps there and then i've actually got my jack over here and i've got it on a platform right here so just trying to make sure we're safe under there make sure the vehicle doesn't uh, come down on us at all a couple different safety uh, mechanisms so most of these came off really really nicely um, uh, you can see up here, the, uh, the, the nuts came off very well on those three there. Oh, sorry. Can't see right there. Sorry guys. Um, the one, the actual, the whole, uh, bolt came out all together. Um, the, that nut was heat welded on. That one was heat welded on. I took a, a cutter to it. And then that one up there is also heat welded. So I got to get up there a little closer and, and try and cut that off up there. So. It's kind of what we got going on right now. So I'm gonna come down here, uh, down here and get these these nuts off right down here. And then we'll uh, come back to work up on the top here. All right, everybody. So after a long time here, we finally got all the nuts off. That one was heat welded on horribly bad and a really bad angle. Um, so what I had to do is I had to take my um, pneumatic uh, wheel cut off and come from the top uh, because I couldn't I couldn't get it um, up in there it was so tight so the space is pretty limited but everything's off now um, now I just got to try and get it out um, so the O2 sensor the upstream O2 sensor is back here I'm gonna once I kind of get this free I'm gonna disconnect it um, from the actual the, the clip the electrical clip and then once I take it off, I will take off the O2 sensor here once I get the exhaust manifold off. So 
Uh, we'll show you what that looks like in just a minute once we pull that off. All right, everybody, so we got the, this is the exhaust manifold, catalytic converter component right here. Um, and then this is my new one. You can see I removed the oxygen sensor from this one here and then put it back onto this one here. Um, so that's the, the new one. This is the old one here. And the reason why we're even changing these out uh, is I was uh, getting a lot of PO420, PO410 um, codes uh, and, and I tried all the tricks. Um, I changed all the O2 sensors initially. Uh, I changed out the spark plugs, uh, changed out the engine filter. Um, I even tried the old, you know, Cataclean, uh, running lacquer through the engine, you know, all the, all the tricks that I could, uh, that I could get. Um, I was getting bank one and bank two alarms. Um, the bank two alarms all cleared out uh, after I changed all the O2 sensors, um, but I was still getting the bank one codes. So hopefully with all this work, um, those will clear out. So uh, that's the new one here. I'll kind of go back up under the car here and we'll show you what it looks like after getting it all out. So that's where we were working right there. I'm going to take a, a wire brush and just get some of that, that gram off there and we'll kind of clean it up a little bit before we go to reattach. Um, you can see those um, those bolts there. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to cut those off um, and get them out. And the ones that I had to kind of cut down, those top two that you can see up there. Um, so I'm going to get my, my cutter, we'll cut those out and then get a little, uh, get some bolt extraction and we'll get those out of there. Um, those other three, that bottom one, those two on the left are still good. And then I'll have to, those other uh, ones, we'll have to get some uh, some new bolts up in there. So that's what we're, where we're at right now. So we're gonna get after that and I'll follow up in just a minute with, with how it's going. All right, so I'll kind of walk you guys through what I'm gonna do, hopefully it works. If not, we'll try something else. But um, you can see here, I've got my, it's just a right angle um, pneumatic drill here, uh, just for tighter spaces, which this is a tight space. So I'm gonna do a little uh, drill hole right down the middle of that bolt there. Um, and then I'm gonna put a uh, um, sink a extraction screw, ex uh, extraction bit in there, and then we'll try to get it out that way. And if that doesn't work, we'll try something else, but uh, we'll see, here we go. All right, everybody. So that turned out to be much more difficult. I mean, I knew it was gonna be tough, but it was these two uh, bolts that were up here. So there's this one that was up here and then the one that was up here. Uh, those would not come out at all. Um, I tried uh, my screw removal kit. I uh, couldn't get them to budge at all. So what I had to do is I had to drill them out and then I had to use my, my tap set um, and I tapped uh, two new holes there. So um, I'm gonna brush it really quick, wire brush, all that, get uh, get that junk off of there. And then I'll, I'll put the new um, exhaust manifold up in here and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. That took, that took uh, a couple hours to get that. It's really tight in here, even with my my little uh, pneumatic uh, angle drill. Um, still, just super tight to get to get up in there. So, all right, I'll show you what the uh, the new exhaust manifold looks like in just a second. All right, guys, as you can see, the new manifold is on. I use those same nuts for those bolts that were still attached, and then you can see my. My new bolts on there uh, looks good uh, I got to put the tire back on um, and then we'll save the other side for another day but this was a chore um, anybody that's wanting to take it on themselves it is tricky I'm gonna warn you um, but I can go into further detail uh, in just a little bit about some of the stuff you might need um, that I had to use and whatnot, but there you go. 
Sorry. Oh, sorry guys. There's the, uh, all the way down there and then coming out. So that's that.